Nearly there. Seconds. <laughs> Only six seconds now. Welcome to everyone here and online to the service led by the young people. We want to make sure everyone feels welcome, so we'd like to welcome you in lots of different languages. Hola. Privit. Habere. Buna Ziwa. Victam. Bonjour. Now I say in Ivergai. Helvergo Overgo. Ivergai. I am. This service is about finding your way to God, our perfect Father, to live for Him and praise Him. That's what we're going to do now in song. Please stand to sing our first song.
please have a seat. Let's pray for the adults as they go out to their groups. Only kidding. <laughs> You're way too old for that. Instead, the rest, the younger group, is going to be telling us the story we're doing today and helping us understand it. A wealthy man had a wayward son. wanted to leave and have some fun. So he said to his dad, can I have my cash and make it quick because I've got to dash. He set off to the city with all of his dough. which he wasted on parties and girlies. And so, in next to no time, he was down on his luck. And he said to himself, I really am stuck. All he could get was some dirty old digs, where he spent all his time giving food to the pigs. So late one night, as he munched the pig's food, he said to himself, this is no good. I know what I'll do. I'll go back to my dad. I'll live as a servant. It won't be that bad. So he set off for home with his head hung low, knowing he had no place else left to go. Imagine the shock when his dad came out running. The effect on the son was enormously stunning. His dad went and hugged him and gave him a kiss, put a ring on his fingers and shoes on his feet. We'll have a big party and something to eat. With all of the noise of the house having fun, the son's older brother came in looking glum. I've always been good and done what you said, why can't you throw me a party instead? You know that I love you. You have all that is mine. But we need something special just this one time. Our son who was lost, who we thought was dead, has returned, is home and alive instead.
please give a round of applause to the story of the lost son. That's the second round of applause. Yes. We're going to take some time now to pray to God about the story you've just heard. In order to do this, you will need a maze sheet, a maze sheet and a pencil. If you don't have one, or if you don't have either of those, please can you put your hand up and we will get to you. Okay. Does anybody not have one? Okay. The first thing you need to do is find the start and end of the point of the maze. Then find your way around the maze, and every time you need to make a decision about which way to go. Pray in your head or with a partner. God, guide me back to you. By doing this, you will find that you say the prayer quite a few times as you do the maze. We talk in drink sometimes about the things we speak or the things we speak or think have an impact on our souls. So we are so we pray this prayer prayer a few times you will be having a good impact on your relationship with God. So take a few moments to do that now. Don't feel like you have to rush, and you even might want to do the maze a few times. Younger ones at the front, if you need any help, put your hand up. Thank you for joining us, joining in with us for this prayer time. Now we're going to stand and sing our next song.
Okay. Microphone. Oh, hello. <laughs> now that the mic is working, I can tell you um, what we have already heard from the children, the story of the prodigal son. But here is my version, right? I thought it would be interesting to retell this story with a goofy spin, right? That will help us relate to it easier by putting it in a more modern and real world situation. So, once upon a time, there was a lad named Stephen. Mm. Or, we also can call him Old Pops, who had just bought the vastly more successful and extremely original M and B, where B and M and Morrison's used to be. He met a beautiful lady called Sandra, and they had two sons. One was Stevenson, because Old Pop's real name was Stephen, therefore Stevenson was Stephen's son. And there was also Gimli. And when the time came for Gimli to understand money, he learnt that when Old Pops dies, he would get money from him. So Gimli, being a quick old boy, asked for the money now, and then he moved out. He followed Google Maps all the way from Cleveland to Bristol down the M5. And after many days, he decided to get some nice accommodation. <clears throat> and he wasted all of his money on FIFA Mobile. Going to sleep content with his day, he woke up to an empty Apple Pay. Crying, he went to a good job to get, to get a job and became a fast food worker at Mackey's, cleaning the loos. One day, a rude YouTube prankster ran in blasting All Star by Smash Mouth, and then ripped the door off its hinges with his bigly muscles. Laughing, the imbecile ran away, and of course, Gimli was forced to clean it up. This made him snap. He thought even working at Old Pop's M&B supermarket was as M&B's famous, slimy, juicy, jiggly, puckly, the pickle mascot was better than this. Thusly, he took the old Google Maps on foot across the M5 back to Clevedon, and with the walk of shame, like the one you do when you have to explain how all the cookies left the jar that we all know, he, bo he bowed his head and walked sl slowly toward M&B. His dad noticed him on My Friends, the great uh, iOS feature, and waited in the car park with open arms. As he saw Gimli walk past the Curzon, he ran to him, and in the middle of the road, kids, please don't do this, he gave him the best hugs of his life. Crying and laughing, they ran to the family business, and Old Pops got Jeff, the butler of M&B, and a good family friend to get him the finest Gucci slides and Rolex watch, and order all the menu of Junior Poons, the Chinese place. <laughs> and he declared as the doorbell rang to all of the family and Jeff, we must celebrate with a feast for this son of mine was dead and has now returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. And thusly, the party began. And the Chinese and salt and vinegar Pringles were shared out evenly. But in the corner, one man was not so pleased. The young Stevenson, remember him? Well, he was angered because even though he had stayed loyal to his old pops, he had never been given a big Chinese takeaway and Gucci slides. And so Stephen, old pops, talked to Stevenson, saying that he did not understand the meaning of this celebration and that his gift instead was the love and care that old pops provided him through the time that Gimli was gone. Sometimes I feel we are like Stevenson, the older brother, who stayed, and we think what we have isn't enough when others get a great celebration for achievements like coming home after running away or coming to Christ. But instead, we should be like the family and we should celebrate with God that this person has come home. And I have a verse for us. In the same way, there is joy in the presence of angels when even one sinner repents. Luke 15, <clears throat> verse 10. Because I think we have missed how amazing it is when someone comes home to God. We can often only be in it for rewards from God, but really we should be grateful at how close we are to God for most of us, the rest of our lives. And that is my talk.
Just didn't come up with us. Didn't need to. We're just going to bow our heads and pray for a little bit as a family of Christ. I pray that I am a good friend, show kindness like Jesus wants us to. I pray my friends find Jesus as their friend. Amen. Amen. I pray that I am a shining light. Jesus at school. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I thank you that you are my friend and that you are with me. Help me to show my friends how amazing you are. Amen. Pray that through your Holy Spirit, you let me be salt and light wherever I am, at work, home, and church life. Let me be a light that draws others to you. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you that this family here at CBC are a family of God's people. Let us as a family and individuals let people draw near to him, thus making disciples for his kingdom. And as James said, let's celebrate that when one of our friends or someone here makes that commitment for the first time and finds you. Let us celebrate like Jesus celebrates and walk beside them and draw them nearer to you and show them the path and the way to be close to you. Amen. 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 Please. Please stand and worship the Lord through our next song. The, this will be a new song to many of you. It's been um, written by one of our youth, Adelise, who's just coming to stage now. <laughs>
please take a seat. This is the end of our service. Thank you for worshipping with us this morning. Here's a blessing for us. Lord, thank you that you are a family of God together. Bless us as you, we leave this room. Bless us as we go into our weeks. With, whether we're at home, nursery, school, college or work. Help us find or our ways to you all this week. Amen. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, older parents. <laughs>